have to, as a woman, be very aware of my surroundings all the time. So I just filmed like a 10 minute response to this and I decided to erase it and restart it because I didn't want people to take my words out of context um, and paint me as being transphobic. To summarize, I was watching a video by a self-identified trans woman who looked to be like 17 or something who was saying that her problem with feminism is that feminists exclude her and you know are transphobic or whatever and in the same video she mentions TERFs and says she's like a TERF's worst nightmare but then she paints all the feminists as if they are TERFs which yeah, there's TERFs among feminists, but if you talk to the rest of us, we hate TERFs. <laughs> we are fully trans women or women, you know, that that's not, at least in uh, a lot of modern leftist spaces, you know, you go to the older generations, you're probably going to find a lot more TERFs <coughs> rolling. Um, anyway, and so that part galled me because this trans woman was saying that her problem with feminism is that basically it's full of TERFs um, and also she said that she doesn't like feminism because she thinks it's teaching girls to be afraid of men and the metaphor I came up with is that it's like teaching our kids to be aware of how dangerous streets are we're not saying streets are bad we're not saying be afraid of streets we're saying don't recklessly run out into a street and trust that every car there is going to see you and slow down. And it's the same thing with, sorry, <laughs> getting over it cold. It's the same thing as teaching our kids, but especially our young girls, because of the vastly higher rate of SA perpetuated against girls. Um, but yeah, this goes with all our kids. Um, you know, we're, we're teaching them to be aware of the dangers and to, like you said in the video that I'm stitching, you know, be situationally aware at all times and have an escape route planned and have a buddy system and don't drink, uh, you know, drinks that have been left out, um, carry self-defense with you, all these things because violence is perpetuated against women to a degree that vastly outweighs violence perpetuated in men. Most of the violence that happens uh, to people in general, but especially to men, is by people already in their life. Most of the, the violence perpetuated against women is also people that are already in their life, but a man going for a jog at night is extremely unlikely to get cornered, get dragged into a car, get, <clears throat> you know, whatever, knocked unconscious. Um, a man is extremely unlikely to have a woman pull a gun on him or stalk him or throw acid in his face for turning down a date. It happens, but this whataboutism of, well, it happens to men too. I don't know. I just, mm, it's just frustrating to me. So like I said, this video where this trans woman was basically discounting feminism, saying that all feminists are transphobic and also saying that feminism teaches girls to be afraid of men really irked me because up until that point, I'd agreed with a lot of what they were saying in their video. And then I was just like, what are these what are these feminist spaces that you're in that have indicated to you that the majority of feminists or just literally the way she referred to feminists she was just feminists it wasn't turfs it was all feminists are like this um it's not true we're just teaching our our kids but especially our girls to not run out into the street and trust that every car there is going to see them slow down um especially in this metaphor, um, assuming that a non-zero percentage of those drivers would intentionally speed up. <laughs>